Senator Fisher, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I do want to begin by thanking the commissioners for your work on this report. The report is thoughtful, clear-eyed about the threats, and honest about how underprepared we are to address these threats, and we are woefully underprepared. Since the Second World War, the United States national security strategy has been predicated on having one major nuclear adversary, and we now face two major nuclear adversaries for the first time in history. Russia and China have rapidly modernized their strategic nuclear forces. They have dramatically expanded their theater nuclear forces, and they are developing novel nuclear weapons and delivery systems. Meanwhile, we have barely begun to modernize our strategic nuclear forces and only plan to replace, replace them on a one-for-one -one basis, a plan that was developed on outdated assumptions. As you say in your report, our nuclear force modernization program of record is, quote, absolutely essential, although not sufficient to meet the new threats posed by Russia and China, end quote. And as your report also conveys, the United States has no strategy to address this threat. We cannot effectively deter two nations with a national defense strategy that has one major war-sizing construct. Unless we change our strategy, we will not be able to deter both China and Russia. If our adversaries believe that we lack capacity or lack the will to respond to an attack and to defend our allies and partners, they will act accordingly. Your report had 131 findings and 81 recommendations, which, if acted upon, will provide the United States with the capacity and capability necessary to maintain our place in the world. These recommendations include changes to the planned size and composition of our nuclear forces, including the development of new theater nuclear delivery systems. They include overhauling the NNSA, dramatically expanding our domestic industrial base, including the establishment of a third nuclear shipyard, developing a comprehensive homeland missile defense architecture and a resilient space architecture that includes both offensive and defensive elements. And we must do this with a sense of urgency, Senator Kyle, urgency, which has frankly been utterly lacking from the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy. And to be clear, this is a bipartisan, bicameral commission. The commissioners have a wide range of experiences and political viewpoints. And yet the findings and recommendations of this report were unanimously supported. This is no fringe report. This is the consensus of respected national security experts. I look forward to working with my colleagues in Congress to turn these recommendations into legislation. The road ahead is difficult, and there will be a cost, but we are at a crossroads.